Howdy. Today we're going to install an AP positioner on an 077100. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take out our top airport plugs. And then I also will work the actuator back and forth some to make sure that we have any kind of dirt or really sometimes there's some grease in there and it'll uh, force it out. That way it doesn't get caught in our positioner. Okay, next we'll take our positioner. We're gonna put our O-rings on the bottom of it. Then we're gonna install right here on top. Also make sure you don't move it around too much. Sometimes you can dislodge your, your O-rings and uh, then you have an air leak. Then I have to go back and do it again. Alrighty, so then next we're gonna put on our coupling, our positioner coupling. Gonna take our little cap out here. And on this particular unit today, we're going to uh, set this up as anti-clockwise response to rising signal. So uh, if you do want to change it to clockwise, what you do is you need to turn over this cam. Right now it has an A up there, it means anti-clockwise. So you pull it apart, pull that cam off like that, and flip it over. And now it has a C for clockwise. Also what you do is, here's a changeover block, and we take it loose, take your, your bolt all the way out, and it has A, two A's and C's on there. So when you go to clockwise, you just turn it, and the little gasket there has got four holes in it. Make sure. And then we put this guy right down there. And then of course, then just tighten the screw all the way down nice and snug, but that's for clockwise. Once again, today all we're gonna do is anti-clockwise. So, Alrighty, and next we're going to install our coupling, and we're right in the middle of the stroke of the actuator. Going to pull back on this lever, and we're going to install this. Oh, we still have it clockwise. We'll put it back to anti-clock. There we go. Pull back on the lever. Put that guy right there, and then we're going to make sure our roller is is uh, touching this cam and then we can move this back and forth but we're going to go all the way down we're going to go all the way closed and now you can see that this is adjustable and what we want is we want to be able to put our roller right here right at the bottom of this cam right there so we we'll just barely rotate and it's right there at the bottom and when you got it there, then you tighten down on your clamp. You don't want any slack right there. Right when that moves, you want that, you want that roller to start up that cam. And now you can see as the unit works, it's gonna file the cam all the way up and all the way back down. Okay, you got your screw good and tight. Put your cap back on there. And we have a, like a range gauge here. It shows a total of 90 degrees 
has zero, 45, and then zero. That way, if you're clockwise response or if you're anti-clockwise response, you can still start out at zero. Okay, and then we have our little pointer right here. This pointer here is just totally adjustable. And we set it on zero, and that's it. And we just, that's all we got for replacing the uh, AP positioner. Thank you very much. Thank you.